So we're talking about those distances. Uh, obviously, in this case, it's going to be distances d, uh, and we're going to be geodesic, uh, which means that the uh, distances are going to be robust to the movement of uh, objects in all sorts of ways, um, such as bending and uh, twisting and things like that. Uh, a geodesic distance is going to be measured uh, using one of a series of methods, I suppose, you could choose from. Uh, the geodesic distance is going to be the shortest distance on a, uh, on a uh, surface. Uh, it's going to be the shortest distance that you can measure between two points on the surface. Uh, of course, then it has the issue of topology. Uh, let me say, actually, I should, should draw something about it. Okay. Let me just clear this one. Uh, well, I, I do it all in one take, so I, I don't actually plan what I'm about to plot. I just slice it into several parts. So. For technical reasons, I'm just trying to find a uh, bit of a pencil. Okay, so let's say my object looks like like that. Okay, and we've got two points here, one here and one here, and I want to calculate the shortest distance between them. Uh, so it's probably going to be almost a straight path here. Uh, if I put one of those points, if I moved it here, okay, and then the point is here then I could not actually escape the shape, I'd have to go through a shorter route through here. Uh, and that's going to be an issue if, for example, the shape was a bit more like uh, this. Let me just delete some, uh, some things that don't belong here. Um,